Here we go. Cut the ball. No. Oh, hey, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Fierce of Might, Lieutenant Rakir, you're at your service. And welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, where... Yeah, we are in Atlantis, so we will learn its fate and uh, <clears throat> likely finish this game today. Now, if we finish under two hours or so, uh, I do I do plan to con yeah, not continue, start with the next game we'll be playing on Saturdays, uh, Seasons After Fall. Why did I almost said Fall After Seasons? <laughs> uh... And yeah, then moving forward, we'll probably put more uh, chill games on Sunday again, potentially interspersed with the occasional new Showcase Sunday, when I find some specific games I want to showcase or show off. And yeah, last time uh, we opened the door here. Okay. And yeah, let's... <clears throat> Let's pick up our ladder again, and I also noticed that there's this thing here. A hinge pin. And yes, I do have the guide off to the left here again. And yeah, at a, at a glance I noticed that we need that to go fin yeah, to go rescue Sophia. So let's go out and let's go get her out of there before she uh, really tries to murder us. <laughs> Yeah, for we want to we want to miss, uh, say her. For I bet we can skip that because I feel like it will be a very bad move. Yeah, a dick move from Indiana Jones. Uh, then again, it's probably not the worst he's done to some of his many <laughs> love interests. Uh, abandoning a prison on the Atlant in Atlantis would probably uh, a bit. Uh, 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 what will you do that's kind of worse than that? Okay, I was joking. <laughs> okay. Yeah, land your boat, Jones. And let's go get her out of there to get her to stop screaming like a banshee at us every time we pass by. Yeah, probably a good idea. And also, I gotta suspect the... Uh... Sunday plan is not set in stone for, I guess we might have some games we may show on, uh, play on Sundays as a series, yeah. depending on uh, if we find some we feel like there's have the good fit. Yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see. We'll, we're, yeah, we're making Sunday a bit of a wild card day with streams. Maybe some days we won't even do uh, streams or just rest. I can't do this by myself. Yeah. Sophia? Don't be... What? See you soon. Don't leave me here, Indy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, as I say, is, uh, we do also need to go through what uh, other games we do plan to stream in the future and how to organize them. <laughs> yeah. Like maybe spell force or such. What am I supposed to do with this? Maybe we'll think of something. Okay. Sophia? <laughs> Yes. See you soon. Okay. Don't leave there me must here, be. Now he's just digging with her. Does the guy tell us how to open this? Uh, let's see. To rescue Sophia, head back to the dungeon room once you have the hint. Uh, give the hint pin to Sophia. Then it just says open cage. Are you sure this is safe? Oh, I, I see. We never tried this before, but okay, he can lift it up, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't pass under it either when he's shaking like that. It would likely just <laughs> cut him, cut you in half. I've got a plan. Which is? Brace the cage with a hinge pin. You know, that just might work. There! The... <laughs> You know, I had to slug you. Come on, Sophia, don't be angry. Angry? You left me rotting in this hellhole! Well, if that's how you feel, maybe you should stay here. Maybe I will. Great idea. Fine. Fine. <laughs> of course. I was just about to say, just make out already, you two. What's that? Sure, I think Nurab Sol made me do it. 
Zero. So. Dangerous fellow that Mr. Sound. Yeah. Well, we better be going. <laughs> sure, blame Nur Epsel, not the Jones Jr. downstairs. <laughs> Actually, can we take that back? One thing, one thing that I'm, I am, it's under the cage door. One thing I am picking up with uh, <clears throat> adventure games is that you really just need to try and take everything that isn't nailed down. I can't. It's wedged in too tight. Okay, so it stays here. Well, it wasn't. Would that count as nailed down and not and more forced in down? place? Uh, I guess. Okay. Well, into the depths of Atlantis we'll go then. And looks like the second computer is just done processing the Sang Freud uh, videos. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, for some reason, for some reason, a bunch of those failed to fully render, so we had to redo them. Okay. But then again, that computer. Well, it, it's my previous computer for a reason. It is uh, not extremely old or such, like. Five, ten years, or something more. Uh, but it it does have some memory issues. Like sometimes, it, when I'm just closing it down, it just instead of closing down, it'll crash and restart for some reason. Memory management uh, errors, it'll say then. Okay. Hmm. Also, while we're on this thing, let's talk with Sophia a bit. See what she thinks about the crab boat. Float to Sophia. Sophia? Yes? Here we are. So what are we waiting for? Let's go! You know, Atlantis is an eerie place. Yeah, this isn't exactly how I imagined the splendor of the lost city. Yeah, with all the bones and such. What do we also, do now? Let's just keep moving. I don't think it has been uh, uh, under maintenance for quite a while. Yeah. This does make some of the technology here impressive for still working. Listen. Yes? What? Penny for your thoughts. Can't you hear it, Indy? An old king is calling my name. I don't hear a thing. Listen harder, Indy. Stay close. Okay. Right. Now, let's go find out what's in here. Indy, Nurab Sal is here. I sense his presence. Hold there we go. Minute. Are you feeling okay? Never better. I feel all powerful. Uh. Then you get rid of Kerner when he finds us. He doesn't scare me. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, great. <laughs> well, it, I don't think it'll be the first time that one of Indy's girlfriends got possessed by something. In here, Indy. Follow me. Right, isn't that the, the door with the lava? Yes. Uh... Oh, great. Okay, Nurup, so I'll get the hell out. Excuse me. Talk! Jeez, this place gives me the creeps. Oh, I find it exceptionally restful. <laughs> yeah, the stone beds sure look comfy. Silence, Come on, Sophia, let's get out of here. Never. I'm staying right here with the spirit who guides my thoughts. Yeah, guides or uh, steers. Like, <laughs> just grabbing the steering wheel and steering them right off the fucking cliff. 
Hello, spirit guide. My name's Jones. Yes, I know you. You'll make a fine slave. Oh, yeah? Don't count on it. Why are you acting like this? Acting like what? Speak your mind, Joe! You sound like you're possessed. Possessed? <laughs> By what? By Nurab Saul. Well, you're wrong. We're just friends. Okay, do I need to talk her out of this somehow, or... Let's have another look around. Just drive all the crabs all over the place. Okay, did I miss this last time? It's a bronze sure. bar, probably a king's scepter. Okay. Let's see, a scepter. Okay. Look at those feet, or whatever they were. Hmm. Sophia. Talk! What's making you so weird? What do you mean, Joe? I'm pretty sure the H doesn't... isn't supposed to be there. Uh, Let me talk to the mortal woman. Make it quick. The time for human frailty is past. I think your necklace is driving you nuts. That's absurd. For the first time in my life, my mind is perfectly clear. Yeah, it's <laughs> as clear as dirt. Come on, Sophia, hand over the necklace. I can't. In ten years, I've never let it out of my grasp. Now, I can't even force myself to take it off. Oh, Indy, I'm doomed. Okay. Hmm. Can we use this scepter on her, or can we give it to her? No, we can't. No, so we still have this submarine sandwich that we made on the submarine. <laughs> it's stuff we found on the submarine. <laughs> Uh, maybe after all of this is done, Indy will found uh, Subway. I have heard they haven't been doing well, I, which I think I said last time when we made this thing as well. Yeah. Okay, let's try keep uh, talking her out of it. Or hey, okay. Yeah. I hear you. For a moment, I thought we couldn't talk to anymore. Pull yourself together, will you? What do you mean, Charles? Come on, Sophia, get a grip on yourself. I am no longer the one you call Sophia. I am simply the, the one who rules. Oh, uh, great. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da, the guide, if Sophia's witch will start act strains. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. Mind if I look at your necklace? Okay, that is definitely up to something. Hmm. We don't have any Orichalcum left. To, not that I think we should use that. Uh, can I use the scepter on it? What do you think you're doing? Okay, that's that not a it. response? No, can, we just, you. can we just tear it off her neck? Don't you dare take my necklace! Okay, yeah, okay, the nerve cell is reacting. Otherwise, I think, well, of course, you would react if you poke her chest with a scepter. Okay, it says to... Okay, so we do need to get some orichalcum. Apparently, we did have a... Okay. So... <laughs> the game gave us a certain amount of them before. Okay, instead of just a supply that would last until we'd run out... We'd, well, we'd run out of uh, uses of them. Hmm. I wonder if it actually kept track of uh, how many specific. Okay, but that does mean that we'll need to go back into the outer ring for a bit, get some lava, turn it into overkelcum, and then use that. Okay, which means backtracking. Let's see. Orkelcum. I thought no, Orkelcum has been translated to mountain copper. Okay. Let's see, wonder. Let's see. 
Okay, we have something called volcanic glass. Obsidian. Would this mean that Urkalka might be... Hmm. Volcanic metal? It could be, yeah, molten metal spewed up along with... Uh, <clears throat> with lava and such. And the machine... Refines the metals out. So I, I think we basically ha have this sort... Uh, either it... I think we have the idea that it either does that, or it's just from the lava itself that it gets refined from. But, hmm. Yeah, for... Again, we, we saw how much lava you put into it and how small the beads came out. Yeah. So it means... It's likely not the lava itself, but something that is in the lava that needs to be sorted out. But it is, after all, molten rock, metal, and all that. Like, right? Earth's core is, if I uh, recall right, is uh, just molten iron. Yeah. So it could just be that Atlantis is sitting on top of some sort of deposit that uh, seeps into, or is sept in somehow infused into the lava. Uh, let's see. We need to find the specific rooms again. Hmm. Let's see. Machine room. That is where... Yeah. Lava room is down this way. So, yeah. I could have gone faster by just going the other way around. It, it, is that even possible? I don't remember if there's a passage between the lower half here and the other side. Uh, yes, there is. Okay, lava room. <laughs> so yeah, I just... I just wasted time by going through there. Okay. Use empty cup with pedestal. Then we use the head there. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And now we have a cup of lava again. Is I still wonder, is it real lava? Says, we see how it runs. And can you even refine lava like that? Hmm. So again, I do we could, I think, I do also think we are putting a little bit too much thought into a video game. Yeah. Uh, uh, wait. And now I remember something else, because there was another part needed here to get this thing working, so we have to backtrack again. Okay, can I just pour that in? Let me, Let me actually make a save here, just to see what will... if anything will happen. Okay, so we will dump it in there, but it won't actually do anything. Because the sound is off. Well, that didn't quite work. Okay. Well, let's go back to this to the sentry door. And just get that wheel back that was that we put there. Okay, this can this is something that can be a big annoyance with these old adventure games. That just yeah, <laughs> backtracking and such. Especially if you manage to screw things up. Oh yeah. Okay. Hmm. So I, th I think when we run into one of these guys, we can just also just run away. Ah, Dr. Jones. You got away before, but not this time. Don't be too sure. I think I should backtrack here. Give up, Jones. There's no escape. <laughs> You're letting us escape. It oh, okay. They'll just send us the way we came. So that, that won't be too useful. Especially when we need to pass one of these assholes. Okay. 
Ugh. But yeah, could have, it would have been a bit of, a little bit of better design if we didn't need the cogwheel in both places at the same time. Or not really at the same time, but if there had been a second one we could have found, so that both would be active, would have been nice, but hmm. Not really the style of this, I think. Okay. Yeah, this was also before uh, fast travel. Yeah. Mm, uh, maybe not more just being able to just quickly move from one side of the screen to the other. Maybe something they could have put in with the emulation of this game, since it is running through what basically is a, an emulator. <clears throat> also, I, next time we should see if this is a shorter route the left way. One window, or one screen, two. I'm going to be so annoyed if it turns out the left uh, <laughs> going to the left is faster. Okay. okay. Come on, Jones. There we go. Okay. Now we use the ladder to get up there again. And apparently Ink wants attention or something. Because he's meowing in the in the hallway. Okay. Might as well pull all of these off. That won't work. There we go. And now we have all of those again. It's only really the wheel that we need, I believe. So it might as well be good to have them all just in case. Yeah. Pick up the ladder again. Okay, I might put in a timestamp to skip all of this backtracking. Where do you to try the other way? Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see, I need a new piece of paper to note these things on. Uh, well, I'll just have to write small with this. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay. That leads into the other area, uh, the one that is sealed off by a cave-in, or collapsed area, whatever you would call it. Technically caves in so... Does it really count as a cave-in when it's in a building or such? Yeah, I guess it does, but I have heard people say the building caved in. I think it'll prob probably mostly be for tunnels and such, not actual structures. And I think it actually was faster. Or maybe I maybe I'm just placeboing myself, like with uh, Sang Freud, only noticing that the uh, quote-unquote permanent upgrades needed to be equipped. I don't think it might have been faster. Hold. We don't like people who get in our way, especially not the likes of you, Head Jones. Another Nazi stooge. Mm. Maybe I'd better head north. Come back and fight like a man. Okay. Let's take this way then, and <laughs> it's not like it'll, uh, it's <laughs> not like it'll be much of a different distance. We'll just have to dodge this asshole. And <laughs> I think he heard me. Oh dear. I actually could have walked past him there, I think. It's... We probably need to dock in here to dodge them. Yep. Okay. Really, Jones? Oh, we don't like people who get in our way. Especially not the likes of you, Head Jones. Well, you're in my way, so get the fuck out. We'll see about that. Maybe I better head east. 
Give up, Johns. There's no escape. Okay. Okay, he actually went... Okay, so you can go away that will bypass the jackass. Hmm. But it's likely randomized which direction Jones will flee into. Plus, it stops us for like half a minute just to hear them babble on. Okay. No. Put this stupid thing back in place. Well, that looks much better. And there we go. Not sure how just... Uh, I was going to say not sure how one little thing missing could cause such a big problem, but that's the thing with machinery. If one small thing does go wrong, it can screw everything up. Yeah. Wait, did it? I thought it was brighter the last time that we actually got this to work, so... Okay. The, the music wasn't off, my memory of how it sounded was off. Okay. Hmm. Typically when something like that goes wrong, the, the sound will be off in some way as well. Like a slightly different uh, tone. More or a calcum beads. I'll put them in the box too. Wait. Okay, the, he does... <laughs> He puts them in the box, but they remain as interactable here. Uh, can we actually... a handful of beads. Okay, so we can use that to sort of measure how many we have. Oh yeah, we shouldn't be wasteful with them. Yeah, well, we, uh... we wasted a lot on the stupid uh, door opener. I'm trying to think about the whole deal to come away, but... If we get them from lava, would that mean that this might be... A... A finite amount of them? Likely. A, a finite amount, you, I presume you mean? Yeah, like... I have a feeling old calcum will really re replace uh, oil and such. Yeah. Like, it is powerful. I'm pretty sure we could use technology that could extend the use of it quite a lot. Like, we saw what the heck it did to the machines earlier. And even then, it would be a production would be limited, since well, the only way that we know to make it is a machine in here. Yeah, and there's likely a, a maximum amount that it can make in a day, and that would hardly be enough to fuel a world, the world, or even a country. Yeah, they will need a, do a lot of research. On how the machine works, how to improve it, and how to improve everything. And a lot of parts of it probably wouldn't be replicatable, because there's very obviously some mysticism involved with all this bullshit. And this guy just does not want to get out of my way. Mysticism or technology more advanced than this so it looks uh, it's like uh, it's magic or primitive. Yeah. Come on already, just piss off. Uh, for people who want an example, if you shoot a K-Man a gun, and you fire it... Yeah, they'll just they'll just think it's a magic rock that somehow kills people from a distance. How the heck do you mistake a gun for a rock? A bit of mistake for a stick. A thunder stick. Well, I'm pretty sure they would be able to see that it is not wood at the very least. Well, it depends what kind of gun you're showing them. Yeah, one of those old wooden rifles, they definitely we would call boomsticks. Or death sticks. Yeah. Hold on the heck, but yeah. There has been fear us that there, there could be technology so advanced that we probably would not recognize it. We could be mistaken for magic, or at the first glance we probably just think, oh, here's a rock. Also, I like how that guy now actually can go through here, since the door is now open. Okay. Let's get through here. And just get past this. 
Uh, no, I guess we now take the other way to see if the, that is faster indeed or not. I would not be surprised yeah. if we actually went the long way just to activate each and uh, every damn door. So all of them were closed, of, uh, closed after all. Yeah, we did open all of them. But let's see, one screen, it, it was, I think it was three screens the other way. Maybe it just feels faster this way because we start closer to the door. Or to the gate. So we don't have to cross the entirety of a screen just to get to the other side. <clears throat> okay, I think that it actually is faster. Yeah, by one screen? Hmm. This is actually a benefit, considering how slow this damn thing is. Yeah. Hmm. I can see why they had a subway that went all the way around for faster transport. And again, this is the inner circle. So, less people would be visiting here. Okay. Now, finally, here we go. And let's see, that took about 15 minutes or something. Mind if I look at your necklace? Okay. Nom nom. Ah! Ow! That medallion is hot. Drop it, why don't you? Nurak Sal won't let me. Okay, that definitely looked a lot less. Uh... No! Sorry, Sophia. That may have been a bad idea. Or not. Thanks, Cindy. If you hadn't done that, I'd be as dead as that monster. So, uh, want to talk about how your entire psychic career was basically being fueled by... Excuse me. Yes? Uh, still, come on, Jones. Jeez, this place still gives me the creeps. Me too. <laughs> okay, at least she's talking sense now, but basically her entire psychic her career as a psychic was just <laughs> some old asshole trying to get a new body or something. Okay. Very possible. Okay. Let's see what we can find and what Sophia may have to say about some things. Also, isn't it just always that the ancient, uh, the ancient spirit gods or demons or such try to go for a female body like 90% of the time? I would say 60% of the time. Okay. For her, it seemed that he go after uh, grown men and uh, teenagers and such. Anyone they feel they can manipulate. Yeah. Okay, where to next? Hmm. However... Yeah. Okay, that... Wait. I don't uh, recall usually when there is something like uh, Nurabsal here tries to use a woman, they usually more... creepy about it, you know, in a yeah. disrespectful way towards the host body. Hmm. For people who've seen enough movies, you, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Pick up the scepter. Okay. Exit. Continue down the hall. Take no taking note of the graffiti on the wall. Okay. Does that mean we need to, let's see, a bunch of dots and an arrow up? More Atlantean graffiti. Well, mm. maybe she knows. Listen. What? Is Nurab Sol really gone? I think so. Feeling better now? Yes, I feel like myself again for the first time in ten years. 
Okay, so basically you've been low-key been possessed for ten years. Probably since they found that freaking amulet. What do you make of those markings oh. on the wall? An ancient form of tic-tac-toe? Funny numbers? A set of instructions? A peculiar diagram? Who knows? Very helpful. What do we do now? I don't see any sign of those Nazis. Let's find out where they've gone. Yeah, they are somewhere around here. On. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Notice the markings on the... F uh, da -da. Marking on the floor as well. They'll help you operate the machine. Okay. Oop. Hold on a sec. Walk out. Okay. Was it just me or did it... Did the... Okay, yeah, the lighting the lighting changes as we move around. So basically it, it is mostly just this stick that is giving light around us. Just the uh, quote unquote lamps around the place just probably receive and uh, enhance it. Okay, let me make a note of these things. Let's see. Big points, small, and then six small again. An arrow up. Okay. And here it is. Two rectangles. Okay. One, two, three, four. And that causes it to stop turning or something. Let me see. Oh, I see. Okay, we need to. I'll wait down here. Suit yourself. Okay, we need to uh, put in some levers with this thing, or maybe use the scepter for it to turn these things, or turn these. I don't think that'll work. It's a bronze rod, probably a king's scepter. Use yeah, scepter no with slots. Oh, the, is this damn thing actually made of rock? Or is, mm, probably so, is this something else? A mistake for rock? Yeah, it looks like rock, but the lighting isn't too good, so it could be metal as well. Uh, Let's see. Wait, climb up the machine, insert the hinge pin and the scepter in the right slots to start the machine. Uh, oh. <laughs> We need to backtrack again. Let's let me just check for a sec. Wait, we need the lens pin. Uh, more backtrack. But of course, I, we need to lift it up to pull it up. We should thought of that, shouldn't we? To pull it, Probably. then take it out. It but says here to open to quote unquote open the door again. Yeah. So that's likely Sophia can pull it out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You just pull up the key, then you take the damn hinge. Yeah, okay. What we tried the... to do was just trying to pull it right off. Yeah. Uh, at least the dungeon is closer than uh, the other rooms. Hmm. Though those two could have been closer due to their place being randomized and such. I just remembered something here. Long ago when I watched uh, someone play this, I think they actually made a montage uh, for uh, how many times they end up having to do this. <laughs> okay, I'll definitely need to put in another yeah, another time mark here for people who want to, well, just see us get the fuck on with this. At this rate, it will take two, over two hours to get through all of this if I just need to go back and forth constantly. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I just thought of something terrifying. Mm. Go into this. Okay. I'm now doing air quotes here. Air quotes. Could it sort of this, like this almost happen? Oh, wait for you here. Mm. Yeah, can to you repeat the Netherlands? that? Uh, Sophia uh, it, sort of what talked over you there, so what uh, did you say? 
as it, as it will something like this, and now do air quotes here, could be able to happen into the Netherlands. Uh, oh. Okay, it's just, it just falls out. It's loose on the floor. Uh, doubtful. Uh, by that I mean uh, you have a, a lot of uh, probably a few villages and cities sunk on the water. Uh, not completely likely, but at least flooded. Yes, a lot of the a lot of the Netherlands is below the waterline, so just where the seas and such are. But we have multiple layers of uh, defenses against that. So even if a dam or no, no, a dike breaks somewhere, another should catch it. And especially after just one big disaster with that, there has been a lot of uh, stuff set up to specifically prevent that stuff from happening again. Uh, the waterworks. Did not, I did not know there was a multiple. But it makes sense to have multiple. <laughs> So, yeah. what thinking? Yeah, most of them can be found in the province uh, Zeeland. It's Sealand. Yes, that is very, very on the nose. Uh, which is, it's a series of. Uh, uh, I'm blanking on the specific word, but I think they, yeah, they function as uh, movable dams, so that they can move up and down and such. And, well, the big ones, you probably already know, is the, the big rotating things. That just, uh, if they move in, will completely seal off uh, the river. I did not know they could rotate. <laughs> Again, I think the only times I see the depicted in a rare occasion that the Nidalus have been shown in TV shows, or in this case, a, a cartoon, they just showed a big wall and someone had to use the finger to plug a leak. That's a myth. Okay, Mars time for... Hmm. <clears throat> time skip, and I'll also mark a time for putting in a picture or two of the waterworks. Okay. Get up there, Jones. Okay. Uh, let's see... The left one. Okay. It's a lever. Yes, right. We can tell that, Jones. Okay, if we push, they go up. Okay. And that is what we need. But just to be absolutely certain. Do like the, the folks of the, the Dutch do. Make up backup plans of the backup plans. <laughs> Sophia. I forgot they did that. It looks like it dances. I thought it's meant to levitate, not that. Okay. Can I... I like that even the interface bounces with this. Can I pull this one out? Yes. I okay. hate it, actually. Use... there. Okay. Okay. Oop. Okay, now we just... Now, uh, oop, I... Uh, I hope they jumped off. Yes. That was close. <laughs> Too close. Okay, doing donuts with an Atlantean excavator. That was not what I expected. Wait, that's what it's called? No. Uh, oh, no, it, it's it's not, but it's the closest I can think of. Okay, is this Here. going to be a maze? And I think yeah, I know but... where all the Orcalcum comes from. Stick close, kid. This could be dangerous. I'll take my chance. Holy. Yeah, those are seas. Of all comes, I would not suspect if Netherlands is the one that takes uh, rising sea levels the most serious. Likely. 
And hello in chat, Random Marco. That thing was doing tricks even when falling. <laughs> and okay, hello, it's, a, it's a blasted maze. Yep. Uh, it's, mm -hmm. Okay, this is, according to the guide, this is Inner uh, Atlantis. Let's see, walk to the middle structure. Uh, what would, does it mean with the middle structure here? I'm guessing that we need to get over here. Nope, that's a broken bridge. Okay. I can't climb back up. The passage is too steep. There has to be more to metal. The passage is too more, steep. More to metal may do this. But not lava. Yeah, lava will eat through stone in time as well. I don't know, I meant like it the way it flowed. Uh, like, when, when metal is molten, it's... As like, if you were to compare lava and molten metal, molten metal behaves more like water than lava. In okay. comparison. The, the guy doesn't give any tips on the maze. It says it is just... Whoops. It's just... It's plenty straightforward, so we should be able to get through this with enough uh, brute force. El <laughs> Marco, amazing. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, how are you doing, Marco? Oh dear. Yeah, I think way. I, we have talked many times about how many video games get lava wrong. It, yeah, a lot, a lot of media. Because if this was all lava, this place would be filled with uh, suffocating gases and such. Whoa. Yeah, and the lava will not flow like that. It will be very slow. Unless it was somehow thinned. It could be because of a lot, just a lot of metal in the area or such. Yeah, like, that could explain a little bit the color lava. Like, it is lava, but this lava is more heavily just have more metal in it than uh, other materials. Yeah, more metal than rock. And so Marco... it flows so well. Yeah, okay, I've been lost in Silent Hill for the past four hours. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, which one? The original? Okay, both of those leave here. Do I to make a series of that now? Uh, that was what I could at best describe as an attempt at a series, which... Well, was not really uh, good. A lot of people say it, it absolutely reeks of AI uh, writing. Oh, bloody heck. You. Wait. I know they had a movie too, which were. They weren't bad, but they weren't good either. They were. Eh. Uh, I guess you could say they were a bit more disappointing. Okay, so both of these end up over here? Or... Hmm... Um... This just goes back here? Uh... Okay, am I missing something obvious because I think I... Okay, I know I ended up over here somehow. Uh, let's try this doorway again. I yeah, think this will just end us up in the same spot. Oh no, that ends us over here. I don't know what times. How the heck do you build these stones? That's you pipelines for lava without. Yeah, some the, rocks the most... don't melt at the same amount at the same temperature. Yeah. Do... I, I guess you make the pipe climbing us all that before you release the lava. Of course. But uh, still, you just make them and may just pray to oh god it doesn't melt through. Yeah. Okay, is there anything over this way? This is just a trial and error maze. Okay. Yeah. There could be something there, but the camera isn't moving over. Oh, and apparently, according to the guide, we are at the absolute... Uh, back again there. We are very close to the end of the game. So yeah, we are definitely finishing this under two hours. 
So, yeah, <laughs> that means more seasons after fall after this. But we really one of the last chances a stupid trial and error maze. Okay, just gotta remember which of the doorways to take each time. It's basically a 50-50 guess at each attempt. So Okay, for a moment I thought we, I ended up going over that way again. Okay, first one here. <clears throat> okay, now which one... Uh, here? That ends us over here, but going through that sends us back. So, is there really nothing... Okay, let's backtrack a bit. Let's try this door instead, then. Hmm. Okay, that brings him over there. Jones. Okay. Odd. Hmm. Okay, then that feels like a dead end. Uh, let's head back again. I'm guessing Sophia is following us at every point where we have a good turn, but... Um, let's try the other doorway here to see where that ends up. I'm presuming it'll just send us back to the beginning. Oh no. Yep. Or, yep, yep. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait. Okay, so... Okay, we need to end up at these two, but for some reason the screen didn't move over when we got over there. Okay. Um, this one, that one, that one. Hmm. I would have a few point and click games, or at least two. Uh, let's see, Marco, the newest Silent Hill thing was the PS5 game, it was around two and a half hours long. Um, I never knew Indiana Jones had point and click games. Yeah, this is uh, yeah one of at least two. Uh, yeah, th this one is uh, <laughs> Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. The other one is basically uh, a point and click version of The Last Crusade. Is there really nowhere else to go here? Hmm. I must have clicked somewhere wrong here. It's... It's as far to the left as I can click. Was I meant a hole down there? Oh, okay, it just, it just took a bit to actually move over. Okay, since we're on the last one, I'm just going to put down the save. Because I don't want to have to go through that again. And yes, Last Crusade is the one with Indy's father. Yeah. AKA. There Sean Connery. I almost forgot his name there. Okay. Here comes Sophia. Can we actually cross this? We should be. Just being this close should be blistering already. Oop. Unless the. Or the Calcum. Somehow doesn't produce the sulfur, uh, the gases. No, yeah, the just heat the heat itself. itself. The heat itself yeah. would also be lethal. Yeah. Are you coming? Hold your horses. Okay. okay she's going to follow the same path, about or. No. Okay. Okay. Nice moves. Thanks. Okay, I don't get why it just covers over again. There, there isn't... 
there isn't anything to really cool it other than the air, which would be super heated around here already, but... Uh, hello? Okay, it, it, it sound, that sounds like a freaking arcade. Not what I expected, that's for sure. And the place is still humming, maintaining the air pressure for untold centuries. Okay, so is this the actual, the actual city? And hmm. I just realized. Okay, so the, the actual city was below the circles. The circles are just to get in. Also, could it be the machine that allows you to be around here without a suit? Perhaps it. It's it's there. Yeah, it's diff it's kept an atmosphere here at least, maybe one that is thick enough to keep the gases less pressed low. Like just higher air pressure would uh, yeah press gases down more. Hopefully. Okay. Uh, this must be the absolute inner throne room or something. Oh hello. Sunstone, Moonstone, Worldstone. Okay, but what do we do with that then? Uh, let's see. The uh, stone spindle, put the three stone disc and align them in the cr according to the diagram you saw in the maze of doorways. What? Diagram you saw in the maze of doorways on your way to get there? What? What diagram? I didn't see a diagram. Uh, Wait uh, here, I'll be back. I don't okay, re but hurry. They no, wanted to remember something oh. we saw Mammis long ago? No, not long ago. Okay, it's this it's the three circles that were on the wall. Okay. I thought I should not have thought that was just decoration. Oh right I think I know what you want you mean. Okay. Can we at least get a look at it from here? No. Okay. But it's but is in oh no, I don't want to go for the wrong one then. It was over to the right there. Okay, that's something that I missed then. Okay, it gets covered up again. Okay, for, for every path and step we take, one will break, the other will, will need to pass over. Okay, that blocks our way immediately. Hmm. If there was some way for me to just actually... Uh, no, not load yet. Save first. 16. Okay. And then load this one, and then we can just go back here and take a note of it. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's uh, just the way you save scummy on a point and clicker. Oh, okay, now I see what you meant. Okay, I actually mistook so it for decoration. Down. Up there. And opposite. Okay. Uh, then we just load here. Uh, yeah, base. I'm guessing it is just ra a bit random chance, and if you get to cross that or not. Okay. Back here, and let's see. For the sunstone, yeah, sunstone, you need to align the noon sun. For the moonstone, the full moon, and the world uh, stone, you need to align the volcano. Okay. Find anything? I'm not sure. Okay. Let's actually look around a bit more. Or can we even look at anything around here? I... Okay, there's a pit in the middle here. A rock statue. Looks like it's hungry for our calcum. Okay. I think we have enough. A handful of beads. Let's see what's using one. A handful of beads. Yes. Will this do anything? Hmm, that didn't do anything. 
Not gonna just waste it, one of our Auric Alchem. Okay, but we should still have enough. Okay. So with this one, we need to align the volcano. Uh, full moon with this one. And noon sun is already in space. In place. Uh -oh. What did you do now, Lee? I think I turned it on. You see, Colonel? I told you Jones would be of some use to us. Kerner, I knew I smelled a rat. Of course. All I smell, Herr Jones, is your fear. Don't move. Mein Gott, how beautiful! You don't even know what this does. Bombs? The gods don't need bombs. Take a look around. What do you think this astonishing machinery was used for? Holiday barbecues? Wrong! As Plato itself well knew, this was a factory for manufacturing higher beings! While you've been wandering around, we've been stockpiling for a cargo. But now we have all we need. Are you ready for the greatest moment in history, Doctor? Uh, <laughs> you notice all those hideously deformed bones? Uh, uh. Did you notice all those hideously deformed bones? Experiments gone awry. Unworthy slaves sacrificed in the name of knowledge. Progress has its price, you know. Let's see. I do. Let's see. I did read something that there are two endings here. I think I mostly. Yeah, I mostly glanced over that at one point, and it determines on if we can uh, trick them here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, da -da -da. I mean, I'm just reading through this here just to show that we get the good ending. suffer from such imperfections, you inbred asshole. Uh. You're talking suicide, gentlemen. Scientific discoveries belong to the board, Charles. That's something you of all people should understand. Do you really believe this machine still works? Why not? Everything gets me found here certainly does. Think of it. As a god, I shall know everything. Be everywhere. Rule everyone. We both shall rule here, Doctor. Of course, and inviting. Don't be silly, Carla. You're not prepared for this. We shall see. <laughs> Send me a postcard from Valhalla. Let's all go home and die in bed. Well, send me a postcard from Valhalla. Step and you'll get there first. You can't leave now. We're just beginning our experiment. Don't let me stop you. And we can't begin without a guinea pig, can we? Now, if you'll kindly step onto the platform. No! What? If anyone's going to become a god, it must be me. You don't make me laugh. 
I am in charge of this operation, you spineless sausage! Activate the machine! Hmm. A test is a test. How do you suggest it can be? Let's try that! Wait! What now, Charles? Let's see... Ah, oh, here it is! The tenfold error. What about Plato's tenfold error? What about? Let's see. <laughs> Size 10 antlers. Most of Plato's numbers were way off target. Hmm. Just a thought. Maybe right. They should divide by 10. Try one beat. One beat it is. Well, it, it worked at getting rid of him. A small bee for a small man, eh, Charles? Now it's your turn. Let's see. So, from here you can make many dialogue choices, many of which will end up very hideous and disastrous for Indy. Uh, let's see. Can we even... S yes, we can save here. So let's actually save here. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, no thanks. Godhood's for egomaniacs like you. No, unless you want my men to love you. That's better. Mm. What makes you think you can outdo the old kings? Science, my boy. Me, Hobbit, and say did it. How do you think they? How do you think? How do you think they uh, made all of this with without science or their? Bloody heck! They have more advanced science than you to be able to do this to begin with. Yeah. And if this thing does work to make gods, what did you think that? Well, the Atlanteans would have been ruling the planet. This this thing is basically just an overcomplicated suicide machine. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Listen, one of Plato's error went the other way. How do you mean? Let's see. Dividing by ten didn't work, but multiplying might. All right, George, you decide. How many feet should be used? Let's see. Who cares how many beads? It's all a myth. In that case, let's try Plato's suggestion. Eight, nine, ten beads! Oh, I got that wrong. Or... Okay, let's see. After Indy's fatal transformation, Atlantis shook itself to pieces, sealing its secrets and the Nazi in molten lava. <laughs> okay. Uh... Hmm. Let's see. But, uh... Always refuse answering how many beads when a woman asks you. After that, you need to tell him that for his sake, you hope this won't work. Thanks for the offer. Oh, unless you want my men to love you. That's better. You need 
Come on. Okay, it's basically going to do the same, I presume. No. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's just going to do the same. Did I get a... Hmm. I... It's not a chance, Cuba. No, unless you want my name tomorrow. Hmm. Makes you think you can outdo the old kid. I think I might already be on the wrong path with this. Hang on a second. Please, Professor, don't make me do this. Look on the bright side. You're believing you care for life. I've got classes to teach. You don't teach at all. You hardly teach at all. Uh... You know, you'd make a much better god than me. That goes without saying, but there's no reason to turn up your nose at the chance to become one of the lesser immortals. Please, Professor, I've got classes to teach. Stop whining, man. Let's not take chances. How does plenty be down? No beat, you crazy old man. Come now, Doctor. Where's your scientific curiosity? Uh, Not too late. Let's call the whole thing off. Show some spine, man. How many beats should be you? Okay. No beat. Forget your stupid obsession. Really, Dr. John? Get a grip on yourself. Okay. Is it looping now, or...? Hmm. Chance we leave now. Glory belongs to the fearless, Chad. Why don't, why, don't, why don't you get on here? Wait a minute. Let's go. Stop whining, man. How many beads should we use? Okay, no I beads. think it's just Let's looping. Not yet. Hmm. Listen, what if Plato's error went the other way? How do you mean? I think Plato and Kerner were both wrong. All right, John. You decide. How many beads should be used? A uh, hundred beads. Shoot the works. Let's hope you fit the correct amount. Ninety-eight? Ninety-nine? He pushed those in quick. One hundred beads! Yep. And that goes wrong again. Okay, we need to trick him into trying to take undergo this. No. Hmm. But I get the feeling we might already be in the wrong path with this. Uh... No thanks. God hoods for evil mm. maniacs like you. No, unless you want my men to murder you. Also, these two in the back, those two in the background, just don't seem to react at all to just everything here, huh? Yeah, this is weird. Hmm. Hang on a second. Uh... Let's talk this over. There's no time. How many feet should be used? No feet, you crazy old man. Now, maybe we maybe we need to go through the denial loop over and over. Please, Professor, don't make me do this. Look on the bright side. You're believing your cares behind. Okay, let's get it over with. Is your mind composed? Anger and resentment may spoil your 
chances! No, forget it. Calm down, man! Hmm. Okay. I, I think we've basically tried every pause, and it... Hmm. Listen, what if Plato's error went the other way? How do you mean? You can't buy gun for a couple of beans. Forget your stupid obsession. Really, Dr. John, get a grip on yourself. Oh. For your sake, I hope this doesn't work. Why not? Once I'm a god, I'm sending you straight to hell. I'm offering you immortality. Is that the fight I get? Yes. <laughs> Ever hear the term angry god? Wait till you see me. Ever hear the term angry god? Wait till you see me. Hang on! Perhaps I haven't got this rule! You want to go far! You're scheming against me in spite of my generosity! Well, you won't get your upper hand that way! Stand aside, Jones! Okay, for, he looks stupid there for a few frames. <laughs> Still, those two in the background don't seem to care. And now the place is tearing itself apart. Oof. Okay, I guess what we can get assume then is that they started to dabble in attempting godhood and well it did not go right in any possible way. And there goes Atlantis and all the Orc Halcom. Uh, you were saying? And all the machinery that's agreed to use it is now destroyed. You know, a lot of my discoveries seem like tall tales even to me. At least there's some evidence this time. Then again, maybe <laughs> Never not. Never mind. <laughs> and Atlantis sinks again. What was that for? To ease the pain. Okay, and that was the fate of Atlantis. I can definitely see why a lot of people love it, but yeah, for <laughs> it does have some bits where it's just <laughs> uh, not really for me. Just <clears throat> yeah, you will need to be extremely observant. Yeah, and just basically try everything. Uh, the dialogue bit at the end, you could consider this a verbal boss battle, but yeah, that I was it was it was starting to get annoying to me to uh, find the correct lines. Yeah, I can see that be a, a bit of a nuisance. But still a good game. Yeah, a great little game. 
Okay, and yeah, this ending would of course be different if we hadn't rescued Sophia, which, well, would basically leave her to die there. So, <laughs> good ending get. Uh, actually, does would yeah, would Indy still have uh, some more Kelkin beads after this? He, he said he put them in the box, and well, he threw the box into. Uh, the, no, he still had more Kelkin beads after that. So I guess he does have a few souvenirs, but nothing he could actually use to well prove all of the bullshit that happened. <laughs> yeah, and probably for the best since. Someone yeah. probably tried to make bombs with these. And I I'm guessing most of the submarine crew was still on board and decided to go, uh, Alright, so forget all of this ideological bullshit, that's GTFO. Oh dear. Really much surprising that could have happened since, again, not all Germans will follow it, but many were forced to follow it. Or yeah. execute them all. And well, all of their all of their commanding officers are currently burning. So... Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Why did it say to bring the ladder back along again from the statue? We didn't use it afterwards. Hmm. Look for Indy's return in an all new adventure. Perhaps. As a much younger man, oh, <laughs> young Indiana Jones. That was not too well liked, I believe. Uh, I think I heard it was kind of mixed. Like, some things were right with but other things kind of prove what we had learned about Indy into question. All because, like, they wanted they wanted to make an Indiana Jones series, but the only way they were allowed to do it was to, if it was okay. educational. Oh, damn. And so that kind of looks... took way over-prioritizing for Indian Jones. <clears throat> the young Indian Jones of this. Okay, and the game just stops on this. There's... Escape button does nothing. Pause, or space bar that just pauses through the emulation. Uh, let's see, Marco, I like young Indian Jones. Okay. Never seen much yeah. of it myself, I believe. <clears throat> Some of the episodes are on YouTube, apparently. Some. And they apparently yes. did release the DVDs, but they released them in a weird manner. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, I find it a little bit odd that the, the guy tells to uh, bring the ladder back, uh, to pick the ladder up, even though it's not used again afterwards, but oh well. Um... Yeah, this about an hour and a half. And yeah. <laughs> okay. We're not going to end the stream just yet, but we are going to cut the recording so it'll be easier to separate this game and the one we'll be starting in a bit, Seasons After Fall. <coughs> so yeah, let's see. Marco, the episode I remember the most are when he's working in a theater, I presume you mean there. You missed an H. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, for everyone who's been here for <clears throat> The Fate of Atlantis, either on Twitch or YouTube, thank you all you know, for watching. And, yeah, thank you for being here, Marco. Thank you for being here, Drakir, as always. You're welcome as always, my friend. A big girl for yawning. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, we'll start up Seasons After Fall in a bit. But, yeah, for everyone who was just here for Atlantis... Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls. And uh, Atlantean uh, ghosts. Oh dear. <laughs>